have said, so if you want to see these players come out again, give them the price pool that will incentivize them to continue coming back to Glitch. Exactly. We found a way to print free money. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I just want to point that out. It's hey. all, all you have to do is click one or two mouse clicks, and now we get free money. Uh, well, money we glitch? don't get free money. That's they true. get free money. We're getting paid. <laughs> Gonna be fun for sure. So yeah, give them the money. They deserve it. You know, they're playing their hearts out. Give them some cheddar. Exactly. So we have them stepping up here. I believe we don't have too much time to talk about tournaments. So let's talk about this matchup here. So we saw Wadi switch from Mewtwo on over to Rob. You think we're going to see him start off with Mewtwo again in this one? No, sir. It is the Rob for sure. A little bit of an even odds on this player screen here. So keep that in mind. But guess what? These two are, are together here. Double Ness versus Fox and Rob. I mean, Wadi pulled out the Rob at the end of that last set they played just to keep himself on top. So it makes sense that he's starting strong this time. Exactly. I don't think that he wants to get caught in disadvantage against Double Ness. Too, has a big body character like me too. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, Rob's also kind of big, but at the same time has a little bit better tools to deal with stuff. He has the ability to double jump out of disadvantage, which uh, Mewtwo is never going to have that with that floating yeah. double jump. Makes sense. He's be careful with that laser, though, because the PSI magnet will absorb and heal a lot of percentage from a fully charged laser. Agreed. Gak doing a good job trying to go ahead and edge trap PK with that PK Thunder, but uh, I think Sen got the message, too. He's like, oh, I can do that, too. Let's go ahead and fire off a barrage. It's true. So far, so good. Nesses are pressing so many buttons, keeping themselves on lock right now. But they're stuck in the corner against these two competitors. Screen team doing a great job locking it down. Yeah, they were playing so great from the corner when they were put into a disadvantageous position. <laughs> they weren't like pressing their buttons. Great reflect too by Light. Has to be aware of that if you want to toss out these projectiles. Now Light trying to land the best he can. Doing a great job keeping himself alive here. Stuck between two Nesses. That's a difficult fate for sure. PK Flash going out, and then, yeah, you want to back off, that's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and take a significant chunk of my life back. Which is, yeah, that's such a good uh, uh, way for them to approach. Otherwise, it's deterring them from going crazy. Like, look at that. Like, so what, 20-something percent? Hey, look, that's 20 more percent. Hey, look, that's 20 more percent. <laughs> Keep it going. Light has to go ahead and immediately start pressuring these two. That is such a reversal. We just saw from basically going up to, from 150 down to 40. It's pretty disgusting, that's for sure, but it's absolutely effective for these two. It is amazing work, but hey, an unfortunate air dodge loses that stock anyway. It's not the way you want to drop it Exactly. Down. You spend all that time getting all the HP back and then immediately yeah. just toss it away. Not ideal, but hey, they're still scrapping, keeping things pretty close, all things considered. Great magnet cancel right there from Gaku as well. Dancing all around each other, finds one PK fire on the left side. Wadi trying to find a stock, but nothing quite yet. Okay. The Bob double nest it. combo, you can't get out of there is Rob, good God. Could, yeah. God have mercy on your soul. Because these two children won't. And he gets the spike, but great DI from Gak holding to the right and on stage. Rough stuff all around. And the green team is in a pickle between the competitors. I like the get up attack, understanding the counter play to that yo-yo on ledge. It just feels like the air to airs are distinctively in Ness's favor. Yeah. Like Rob is just struggling so much. Even when he's flinging his safe projectiles out, like his bear and his nair, he's still getting intercepted by these discards. And you gotta understand that uh, the psychic powers come in clutch. That's in a little bit of an errant uh, PK flash from one to another. I like that though. Just causes a problem. So deep off stage. Both Nesses have to go off stage in an awkward angle. Light unable to do any kind of edge trap. Doesn't want to run off as Fox against Ness. That spells disaster. With one straight hit. Just so much scrapping here. And the, the sounds of two Nesses pressing so many buttons is filling our this ears. This is peak ultimate, my it friend. It really peak is. Ultimate. <laughs> now they're just controlling center stage. Oh, God, there's two of them. Oh, no, Scabs. Look out. <laughs> yo, Wadi's yo. gone. Perfect positioning right there. Not too much that Wadi could have done except for fire out a preemptive get up attack. And that is very liable to get punished. One grab trying to just throw them into the fray. That back air is a great way to secure the stocks, even up that stock count for that green team. Swinging high, too, is Wadi trying to go ahead and get an early stock to draw this even. Because Light oh. really has to be terrified. Like, he's got to play such a defensive game, considering that these characters have significant kill confirms they can toss out, even from something as simple as back air. I like the idea of handoffs. So the handoffs are going crazy between both teams. They're finding their avenues. Yeah, it turns out Ness up air combos into Ness up air. Which combos into Ness up air? <laughs> Who knew? Important information for these players to figure out. They're learning the hard way, of course. Light just chopping right, wood on that shield. Just so much safe shield pressure. Finally, got sent to drop it and punish hard. This is very doable, though, for a 2v1. Yeah, especially because both are off stage right now. And kind of caught in the middle. Is that going to do it? Yes, it is. So now it's Wadi's 114 versus Gak, I believe, 53%. 
And this is a spot where Rob can maybe take 20% more before a back throw will start to feel an edge. Like right now, this oh is no. a threat. Has to air dodge up. What's the edge trap? Take him off stage again. Use up all that fuel. Send him off stage again. What does Rob actually do here? He's in danger of dying off the top to the next one. He managed to survive just a bit. This is getting dangerous though. Yeah, like you said, very low on fuel. Up air is going to take it there. The double nest scenario. And well, we're trying to explain the situation between the two. So much pressure with that PK Thunder into just fading out. You saw he was basically flashing his shield, daring you to land in front of me. So yeah, just hold out shield, say, if you come up with any kind of attack, I'm going to get the back throw here. And then immediate up air has to stall is Wadi. No response to the barrage of hitboxes. Every single thing there was safe. Tries to land with an air, as every Rob tends to do. That and, was a few uh, frames yeah, ready. off. You can see that the air was coming back around, but the other from Ness was just enough to hit him on the back side there. Look like, at that blind yeah. spot. Like it, 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 It's one, two, three, and it's right there, right as it's about to connect. That Gat came out on top. The margin for victory is frame by frame mm -hmm. here. And instead of perhaps drawing even, <laughs> Wadi makes an early exit, of course. Got to start out uh, with the gyro, of course. Getting juggled by the oh Ness up airs. Oh my god, 50 damage just from up air after up air after up air. And it's showing no end. How does Wadi actually get down from this? So much fire and flame being fanned across this stage from one another from the jet engine. This is everyone's powers. like elite smash nightmare. It really is. <laughs> this is just double nest tossing out a barrage of projectiles. Doesn't matter the friendly fires on these two are positioning it perfectly to cover maximum space and to tilt their opponents as much as possible. Body can't dies. get back. What does he actually do about that? Suffer. Come back on the Angel platform is the best bet. Get, use those invulnerability frames to uh, get yourself something nice. Maybe a, a nest stock. Trying his best right here. Great back air right there from Oh no, Light why gone? Off stage and down air again. We've seen the aggression from Ness paying dividends. That is, she was at like 20 something percent. That was tragically early and that's rough. But okay, Light two up smashes to take two stocks. And if he can hold on to his first, he's still in the game of making things happen. Sent off stage though, Wadi has to air dodge low. Awkward angle, but great recovery from Gak, just putting himself in that little lip right there underneath the edge so that Wadi couldn't intercept him. Mm -hmm. Wadi is doing such a good job dodging all of these up airs that both Sen and Gak are tossing out of him, but cannot dodge every single hitbox. Good God. It is an A. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when when fighting this onslaught. It's so difficult to just navigate all around them. Show oh, G's in the back end too, instantly taking the stock, realizing he needs to get himself back in the game. Cannot leave Light stranded, but they're still down two clean stocks versus this Nest duo. Need to go ahead and get something happening off stage here, but again, the forward air aggression, not going to allow Wadi to get a double jump back air or any kind of side B shenanigans. He has to go low, I think. Oh, he has I tried like to that. He the, the get up attack to the up smash and off. It was very good by the green team. Unfortunately, it's still not enough to really give themselves the lead. Unable to intercept that throw combo, too. Was Wadi going to swing that board air? Well, Wadi just trying to get the heck out of dodge. He's <laughs> just getting punished so hard every time he tries to do safe rock stuff. It is not working out at all. I think, I mean, it's fair that uh, a toy's greatest fear would be a very rowdy, rambunctious child. Yeah, this is Sid. This is Sid from Toy Story out here. Really so trying is. to make the toys suffer. I mean, considering that you got a big body against this projectile, yeah, now this suffering, is suffering. Is on the menu. And get a little bit of healing for their troubles as well. Again, you can't escape. You're just dancing around and trying to close in. The pincer maneuver coming in from the Nest Duo. And every time that you give them the opportunity, they're going to go ahead and heal it up and rinse and repeat. We're at back throw percent here, perhaps at edge. <laughs> just, yeah, oh any, my god. Any Even chance. if it misses, I'll take that. Yeah, we'll take, they're both just magnetic in front of each other. Able to get a couple down tilts, but cannot go for the tech chase because there's another Nest waiting to intercept. For Wadi's credit, he's scrapping with the best of them right now. It's just the problem is that I don't think you can, it's not easy to escape from this, and sure enough, there it is. Yeah, almost took that stock with the back air, but unable to deal with the barrage of hitboxes from those two characters. I think big bodies like Rob tend to struggle in those 2v1s when you can apply aggression so frequently. Devil Ness is putting him in the work scab. My goodness. Look at him go. Yep, you just, you, he got up immediately, and then he has to deal with one with the back air, and it's like, okay, I'm Hello. going to be able to punish that immediately with the yo-yo. 
his eyes focused on one Ness and give them a second. And you remember, there will be Brawl. This is, spoiler alert, but I mean, we can understand Ness's motives. Uh, it's starting to ring a bell again, you know? I mean, my God, that has been so long since there will be Brawl, but I remember that so distinctly. Hey, <laughs> a classic reference to bring us in the back here. And speaking of classics, Wadi going with his classic Mewtwo. This is uh, his original main here. He wanted to main this over Rob in this game. Mm -hmm. He's been putting work. You said he was kind of going on and off with it. Wasn't quite sure, but it was why, why Mewtwo has been putting in some work today. I know he gets he's familiar with it, so he wants to put in more effort. And so far, like he's just backing up Light's aggression, and it's doing a solid job. All he's doing is backing him up. Fox is one of those characters that can certainly do 2v1. So yeah, just go ahead and pick your positioning perfectly to get your <laughs> opponent out of dodge. They're just stuck at ledge. They can't get back from Light's ledge trap. And finally, when he leaves for just a second, is where they can finally find some traction. But and it's then still not got much. the tilts. Yeah, wide has got the tilts. He's got a way to cover the options. And hey, there's one stock. He actually cobbled that out of like Wadi's drag down there. That was really sick by Light. Great positioning. Foxes will find any way to get a drag down into an up smash. Even <laughs> exactly if it's not their know. own. <laughs> Gak force off stage by Wadi now. Has to use a double jump. But great air dodge neutrally, not trying to air dodge the stage aggressively. Another stock down, courtesy of the green team. And I think Wadi's Rob, they're not Wadi's Rob, Wadi's a Mewtwo is finding a lot better avenues to cause damage and support Light in this game. I mean, he really is taking a more backseat role of just, all right, I can fight on my own terms, but when Light is playing aggressive and running the show, all I have to do is supplement that aggression with ways to defend him and, and close his openings. And it's, it's doing amazing. So far, so good with the change of character selection here. We'll have to see if it continues. The problem is that when you are basically relying on your teammate to go 2v1 constantly, if the minute your teammate has a bad game, you need to step up immediately. So far, Wadi not being asked to do that too much. Though. Yeah. Great job for supplementing one another here. The surviving on these high percentages, is Wadi going to die here? Not quite yet. 122% now. It's light on the other side of the stage that actually loses stock. <laughs> Oh, a bit of friendly fire right there with the landing up air, trying to go ahead and start a combo, but instead ending Wadi stock his life. What are you doing, bro? Get yourself together. Smack. <laughs> That's quite unfortunate. Uh, never want to see a team kill take a stock there and even up the game for your opponent's favor. Dragon Lee still gets to go to the jab lock. That's, that's brave, just daring Gak to come get him. Green team just holding that center stage, happy to approach uh, the Nest Menace. Uh, stop them one by one, try to, you know, take control as best as they can once they are finding their footing. Wadi is still struggling to get down when he's in disadvantage, but so far Light's been, oh, no. like, changing up his playstyle so well he hasn't had to deal with that too frequently. That jab lock was a meant for Wadi, but Light was caught in the thick of it and got home run on, getting sent to the people in Pokemon Stadium. It's a, it's a <laughs> flying fox, not quite a ball, but still, Nessus are taking that home run to the bank. Light just trying to Ooh. go ahead and up. Side B directly over Wadi, just saying, if you want to intercept me, you best hope my teammate doesn't protect me. Oh, no. That's one Ness down, unfortunately. Just kind of swinging a miss in there, dropping that stock, unfortunately. Looked like he didn't have the up B position away where he could grab edge. Unfortunate. Now, look at the max damage combos here from Light. You just force him to edge again. Just don't you even think about <laughs> rolling in. <laughs> just kicks him a few times, and then Fox is like, no, 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 no. My turn. Hits him right back. Gets a grab. Toss him up. I like the pressure Green Team is given here. He went for the downer. That could have been one heck of a reversal, but not quite getting the sweet spot, giving Light another lease on Light. I love that. Hey, look at me over here. Look at me over here. By, by the time you realize the Raging Bull is the one behind you, it is too late. Pay no attention to the Fox running across the stage. Surely he won't have something to hit you with. Uh, the curtain was opened, and out came the Fox with an up smash. Who knew that Fox would up smash? It's just just the running kill. all the way across the like, stage. The yeah, second like, that he says, oh, he's going to do a magic cancel back air, all right, boom. we're good. He's, as soon as he sees that there is an open opportunity to punish there, Look, he, he just, just takes them. <laughs> shaking his head. It's like, what have I done? I've made a mistake. <laughs> Can deal with the two-stock deficit right there. We've seen both those Nesses make those comebacks before, but that was just a little bit too much at the end with that early exit. Now, debating over what stage to pick there. That is definitely something you want to consider because uh, these two are scrapping. These two are air to airing. Light saying his bands to the Ness duo, and let's see where they're going to go. Town and City is the name of the game here. Oh, this is such a good option for Ness. Like, the back throw, is insanely good. This is one of those where, like, you just have such a low skill barrier kill and you just back throw at edge that kills incredibly early against, like, light characters like Mewtwo Fox. Typically, not the tankiest characters. Oh, yeah. You're going to have trouble stock tanking on Town and City. 
against this duo of Nessus. With both these characters' rates being under 80, I believe, very light characters. And you mentioned how it's like kind of a free option. I mean, just because these are some of the top Nessus in the world doesn't mean you need to throw away some of the basic bread and butter kill of potentials that you have. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Exactly. And Bastion Town and City is as tried and true as it comes. Easy just means consistent. means we're, yeah. we're more likely to see it happen than not. Oh, great. Hello. Immediate jumping magnet. Understanding the Wad is definitely going to try to go ahead and edge trap with that charge shot. The Ness is controlling center stage for just a second before Green Team kind of opens them up, takes them apart. And again, that's a situation you need to avoid. You need to avoid being sandwiched and pincered by the Nesses or them joining together to cause someone's problems. Hello. Double barrage of PK Thunder! Wadi gets through one but can't dodge the second barrel. Hot damn, it is so hard to get through this onslaught. And then gets caught in PK fire once, oh, twice, three times. Oh my lord, Wadi not having a good Goodbye. game so far. Light is the one that actually went down for the count there, unfortunately. He ran and tried to help his friend, but uh, no luck whatsoever. Getting caught by it. Oh, so unfortunate. I like the, oh, I like that there. Not quite finding it, Wadi. But there it is, the down throw. And from both sides, both Nessus drop down together. That is two, that, that, there's two invincible Nessus running at you. What do you do, Scabs? Uh, you cry. <laughs> you cry, you run. You get away from them as best as you can. Sour spot down there, not quite going to finish. Wadi stock, he gets another opportunity to get back to center stage and start this projectile pressure. I like them kind of defending one of their own green team while just hoping to slay the Ness menace. It's breaking down into a couple 2v1s here, but that Ooh. four throw is such a good way to like break up attempts at double jumping back to center stage. He has both players from that as well, which is very good. Back up from center stage. And it actually enough. does it at 120. Good God. That's the town and city maneuver, baby. I like that too, just holding the Shadow Ball in their face. And hey, waiting to, again, if you keep your eyes off of light for too long, he's just going to up smash you with that kill percentage. And after a disastrous start, this is looking a lot more even now, Let It Rain. Mm -hmm. Doable for sure for both teams, really. It's just a matter of what you can do with this scenario. If you're Wadi, you need to hold on to those stocks as well. As Drag back. down, he got the neutral. Is he going for it again? He oh, can. Unable to punish. Great holding back right there by Gak. He drifted as far away as possible, so Wadi couldn't get that edge guard easily. Yeah, but even though he managed to survive, his teammate lost another stock, so that's another stock down. So, Green Team is still getting the wins, even if they're always And speaking of Shield wins. break! Uh oh. Can, okay, there it is. Okay, Wadi uh, managed to be saved by Light, just immediately dropping down and hitting him. There goes the signal on the stream. These two are still beating <laughs> each other up. The Nessus are still doing their best to survive, but the Green Team understands the situation. When you pop off so hard with a combo that you take down the stream. But we are <laughs> back, baby. Not enough of delay to really take these competitors down. That is for sure. And again, this is Gak and Wadi on their last legs, high percentage, trying their best to survive. Because hey, if your teammate is out first, it is absolutely brutal to come back from. Forward throwing Fox, but that neutral air just disjointed enough to beat out what Gak was trying to toss out. Wadi's just dash dancing, waiting for an option, but he dies too soon. Now Light has to carry the burden here. He needs to get an option oh as soon God. as possible. Put the bat away. Oh, God. Okay, he's living, he's living, he's living. But like he stared down death in the face of that home run bat, smacked him down, and he did it again. But he's going to need a little bit more. Exactly. Can't rest on your laurels. Got to go ahead and get this conversion. You know what send is going to go ahead and go for the second that he gets oh, center stage, but no, the is. short hop two or three times in a row, daring this to drop shield. And after a couple times, like, I can walk forward now, right? It's my turn now, right? Oh, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, these dudes dance a little bit, having fun with it now. That is a, a sigh of relief if your green team's still in winner side. That was such a close game. Light giving us a master class on how to apply pressure without leaving yourself vulnerable. No hitbox uh -huh. needed, just short hop. Short hop, what are you going to do? Are you ever going to come in? Finally, just drops the hammer with that back air. I love the option selection. Yeah, they're like, yes, another game. We are still in this bracket. And frankly, we're going to try to take the last one to game five situation, Scabs. It may very well be that Mewtwo was the answer here because since Wadi pulled this out, this team has looked nigh unstoppable. Light gets the 2v1, though. Immediately just... Again, these are characters and players where they just come out swinging. They are at each other's throats this whole set. Exactly. The match starts off as soon as the announcer hits go. Light's immediately running at them. He's like, I need to go ahead and apply pressure. Oh, no. They're stuck just between PK Fires getting hit home run bad as well. Light managing to come back, but back throw is dangerous. That had kill sparks at like 80. Wadi trying to go ahead and recover low. He manages to get back to stage, but no. Yo-Yo not quite going to connect. He's trying to go... 
get these edge guards, but he hasn't been able to oh, so far. And yeah, if you go ahead and play with that hitbox, you need to be prepared to make an early exit. Yeah, unfortunate team kill there from Team Ness. Very unfortunate. And cancel back here, not going to bait Wadi out, and he's just Ooh. doing so good, just holding back here, not trying to be aggressive whatsoever. Yeah, you can see that Ascend is just unsure where to go. Is he going to pressure Wadi, get the stalker? Is he going to back up Gak? That back is going to be more than enough to kickbox the stock. Well, Wadi dropped two, not quite. And again, he's holding on to this stock. He realizes that he just needs to play to not get hit. Tank hit as much as he can while they get percentage. Just charging up that projectile, not necessarily trying to run in. Gak is really trying to open up Wadi without using too many hitboxes. And Ooh. the problem is when you start swinging in the air, you know Wadi can toss out that Shadow Claw. Exactly. Any point and getting caught by the yo-yo there, who stops a piece uh, for all four competitors. Good pressure, but a little bit <laughs> of an intercept right there, actually. Yeah, <laughs> Sen getting hit with a PK Thunder. And like getting hit by a Shadow Ball. A little bit of fun for everyone here. <laughs> exactly. Oh, another Shadow, shadow, ball, shadow yeah. ball coming out, taking another stock, and just the teamwork from Green Team to try to take a Gak second stock, he is still living. Magnet Cancel not going to be able to land any kind of a large conversion on Wadi. These neutral Ace Ram is claiming a good bit of space at center stage. It, it really feels like just whenever Wadi throws himself across Ooh. stage with neutral air, it makes it difficult for these Nesses to actually get something going combo-wise. They want to anti-air him, but they haven't been able to do so consistently against that aerial. It's getting difficult for sure. Hey, look, there's a quick nair, and it looks like Gak is still on that slow side to recover at 120%, though. Yeah, you need to avoid aggressive options like that, because Light is just going to snuff you out with that up smash. Last stock situation for both Nesses. Wadi still got another one in the back pocket, so Light does not necessarily need to throw caution to the wind and throw himself at his opponents. No, the baseball yeah, that's, that's not killing. That terrifying was terrifying spot, though. Yeah, Wadi defending Light's recovery there as well. And the he Shadow gets a Ball. There it is. One stock left for Blue Team. Gak is down in the corner. Three stocks for Green Team. How do you get out of this? It's uh, it's very hard to tell. Even we don't know. But it's, uh, that's <laughs> the job reset. Into the that's smash? gonna be it. Yes, sir. So that is a reverse 3-0 from Wadi and Light, sending both Nesses to lose in the bracket. As soon as Wadi changed characters, they changed the game plan and they changed the script. Definitely came back for sure. So smart stuff from those competitors. <laughs> Having a little bit of fun in the background there. And so, hey, they're going to be going to winner's finals versus the, the New York team, Zamba and Leon. That is true. And I believe we might have one more set coming up for you on the loser side of mm -hmm. bracket. Now, I don't believe we're going directly into that winner's final. So let's see if we can't provide a bit of a bracket update. We had PK, Chris, and Suarez 2-1 over Matador and Alternus. Oh. Fatality and Sunido 2-1 over Beast and Tilde. And that is going to make up our top six. Going to be a fun one. I mean, there's so many good doubles teams out here tonight, man. I know. This has been an incredible bracket run. So many difficult matches. So many close matches. Neither team has really been able to like pull away. We haven't seen like one team just washing another. Yeah, a lot of back and forth, a lot of strategy changes, a lot of really good moments between teams, and a lot of good comebacks as well. There's been some good comebacks today as well. I like it. Big fan of it. Hey, yeah, lights. Yeah, what's up? I like <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah giving a little bit of a smile with uh, the uh, MDVATO extraordinaire and Raffle Fox. Shout out to Raffle Fox. Exactly. Shout hey, out to Raffle. Raffle Fox. <laughs> just giving us a little bit of the stink yeah, eye for yeah, mentioning yeah. his name, I think. <laughs>